Hi guys, today we're going to do six essential starter mods in 11 minutes. That's Content Manager, Custom Shader Patch, Sol, PP Filter, the best track out there at the moment and one of the best cars. Let's jump straight into Content Manager and guys, all of the links to these mods are in the description below and they're in order of download and install that I've done here. Content Manager is the essential starter mod for your Assetto Corsa journey. Not only does it bring everything in one place and gives you quick drive and career mode as you can see here, it gives you car selections, track selections, all of your lap times, all of your replays, the online community, the list goes on. So Content Manager brings all of the mods into one place and is your effective launcher for Assetto Corsa. It has a very fast start function and this is much quicker than starting Steam and going through there. But the big piece is this management section here. So this enables you to install mods very easily and manage and install cars and tracks. It also has a fantastic custom showroom with different effects as you can see here. And there are other additional mods that you can install onto the showroom. Custom shader patch, we're gonna go through that in a moment and that's an essential addition. And on Content Manager, there is a light version and there is a paid for version. I'm using the paid for version here and I believe it's $3 or $5 if you want to put some kind of donation in. It's well worth that and it will certainly make your Assetto Corsa journey much easier when you're modding. So how do you download and install it? Well once you've downloaded it from the website, you just extract the folder as we've done here and you'll see there's two parts. There's the Content Manager XE or the main program and there's a README. So this is one that I've just opened up and if you double click on there you can see that that Content Manager, if you double click on it, it will actually open up the content manager and install it and run it now i've already got it installed so it's just started up my main content manager so that's content manager up next is custom shader patch and this is an essential install straight after content manager this takes all the original assetto corsa graphics and brings them up to date to 2020. this includes lighting effects graphical effects and extensions and a number of physics changes this is essential as a base for all the other extensions and mods that you will install. We're currently at version 1.60 when I did this video. There are some preview versions that give you external rain, etc. Do check out my other videos for that. Installation is as easy as clicking on the link, downloading the file into your standard download location, and then dragging that file into Content Manager. This will install all of the graphical upgrades and extra settings that you need to get the best out of a set of Corsa. Now as you see here, as you drag the file over into Content Manager, the three green bars will light at the top and then you just scroll down and then you click on install. It will install the light patch as it's called here or any track or car or other mod that you can install this way. And that's it, it is installed as simple as that. Now that we have the first two items installed, let's just take a very quick tour of the basics of Content Manager. So the first is if you click on the car, unlike the main game screen, in this screen you've got access to all of the cars in a very simple list. Clicking on this icon in the bottom right hand corner as well also brings up the showroom. And as you can see with a custom shader patch on, this Lola which is a mod in itself looks absolutely stunning with the lighting effects and the graphical mods we've got running. Moving over to the track side, again to choose your track is very simple. Clicking on the track icon, you will here have a list of all the tracks that you've got installed. And as you can see here, I've got a number of mod tracks installed. But just choosing one, clicking OK, and that then is ready to drive. Of course you can choose the way you're going to drive through practice, hot lap, time attack, race, etc. There are also a number of other options here for quick start and clicking on go actually starts the race for you. Just moving again to the top of the screen on some of the more basic options on Content Manager. The first you can see here is lap times. This shows you a list of all of the lap times with the cars and tracks that you have done on a set of Corsa. The next one shows you all of the different races that you have run. And the great thing with this is that you can actually just click on try again on any of these and run straight into that race. So that saves you choosing different tracks and different cars all the time. If you have a favorite, you can choose it from there. Media is where you keep all of your screenshots. So you can see here with the channel that I've got, I take a lot of screenshots of some fantastic cars and they're all in there as well. And then content, you can actually install this as a browser extension and this will then bring you more online content into Content Manager. Next up, we're going to install this natural graphics mod and filter. And again, the link is in the description below. Now these PP filters or post processing filters add a look and feel to the new graphics that you've got on a set of Corsa. And as you can see with this one, which is one of my favorites and I use on a lot of my gameplay, it gives you a very natural look and feel to the game. So again, it's very easy. You click on download, click on OK. It goes into your save location. 
This is very simple then, a drag and drop into Content Manager and it will install the way any other mods do and this is really where Content Manager comes into its own. As you can see, just clicking on install, it's found the items there and when you click on install, it will install into the correct settings folder for a set of Corsa. Now that's installed, let me show you where that is on the actual settings itself. So clicking on settings, clicking on a set of Corsa and onto video, you will see on the right hand side here that you can choose which post-processing filter to have running on your Assetto Corsa. I have got a number of them installed and again I've got videos on a number of these installations on my channel so do check those out if you're interested. And also on this main video screen in the settings you can see that you can change a number of the core Assetto Corsa quality settings. I would advise that just stepping these up one at a time and just seeing what runs well on your rig. I've got a number of these on maximum here. Um, and it suits my video card but do make sure that you check what your rig can actually do and as you can see at the top you've got a frames per second that will show you what the game has been running at with these settings which is really useful. Next up is another essential install and this is Sol 1.6.2 which is its current version by Peter Bose. Now this actually is a fantastic addition to a set of Corsa. It gives you full weather effects, it upgrades a number of the graphics and also gives you a full 24 hour day and night cycle. This is absolutely essential. Now this one installs slightly differently in that it's a manual install but I'll just talk you through very quickly how to do that. There is an install guide here that you can click on and read through in your own leisure but it is very simple how to install this so I'll just show you by extracting the downloaded RAW file. So click on download, click on save and OK and you will download it into your normal download location. Once you have the sole download, if you double click on there, you will see that there is a mods folder within that. Clicking on the mods folder, you will then see that there are a number of other folders within the sole package. And these are folders that correspond to folders within the main Assetto Corsa file structure. Firstly, you need to find out where your Steam location is. It's under Steam Library, Steam Apps, and then normally under Common, you will have Assetto Corsa. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose the Assetto Corsa folder top level and then you're going to click on OK and extract into that. Now I will just show you what the files look like in there and if there are any files that need to be overwritten just say yes and that's it, that's Sol installed. Now that we have all those mods installed, let's put some eye candy on the screen. So the first thing we're going to do is the Felberg Ring. Now this is a fantastic track that is top rated on Race Department. I did a video on this very recently. It's number one in my top 10 mods. You see it's got a great rating. But this, you just click on download, click on OK, and it drops into your download location again. And again, you will just drag this into a set of course, a content manager. Normal process, and it installs like any of the other mods. And that will give you this amazing track. This track is over 11 kilometers long. It's really famous German track and you will have lots of fun on it and we'll see it running in a moment because now what we're going to do is we're going to install one of the top rated cars on a set of Corsa. This is also one of my favourite cars which is the 2007 Subaru Impreza WRX. This is a tuned version and the graphics on this car as you can see are pretty stunning. It is a fantastic model, a complete labour of love for the person that modded this, a for God, so big shout out. So again, download, click on OK to your download location and then just drag it into a set of Corsa and then you've got these fantastic cars as well to pick from. Whenever you are installing anything on Content Manager, you can press the little plus and expand it and then you will see what you are actually installing. If there are any problems, Content Manager will tell you at this point. So remove completed and then what we can do is we can actually choose this Subaru Impreza. So just scrolling down the list and I know I've got a lot of cars guys. Again, check out my videos if you want to know what some of these cars are. So right down to the Subaru, here we are. And again, because this is a fantastic model, we've got lots of different colors and versions of this model to choose from. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna choose white with bronze wheels. I like that model, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got the car and we've got the track. They're all set up and we've installed our mods. But what we do need to do first, before we run the game, is just double check on a couple of settings. 
So just clicking on the about and updates in the main settings section here, you can see that currently I'm at 1.60. Now I can run that and that's recommended, but you can change these and test these on your system. The great thing with the way that this content manager works is that you can check for updates, you can reinstall different versions, and you've also got a number of different settings down the side that you can play with to make sure that a set of course is gonna run right for you. What we do need to do though, is check on the left hand side on what's under the weather effects tab. Now we've got a controller script and a weather script and there are some other options here that you can change. As you can see, both of these just need to be on the main sole script and controller script, but I'm just showing you what these look like when you do install other mods. Now that we've got everything ready and the mods all installed and the settings checked, let's just check that we've got the right car and the right track. These are the ones that we've downloaded choose what kind of race that you want to run and then you click on go and there'll be a short loading sequence and then you are actually in the game and here is the Subaru that we downloaded now I am in the drive menu here so I've gone on to drive and pressed F7 and you can see if you move your mouse pointer over to the right hand side there are different apps within Soul which firstly you can change the time of day and you can see here how it's dynamically changing what's happening on screen and you've also got a Soul plan selector which means that you can choose the type of weather that you actually want. Now I have got a couple of videos on this, so do check this out on the channel, but just showing you very, very quickly how this dynamically changes the weather around the track and the car, it looks fantastic. So let's take that off and let's see what this actually looks like. I'm sure you'll agree guys that if this was your first time on a set of Corsa, you'd be really impressed with what you can see there. So this is the track, the car, it's Sol, the PP filter, there's also content manager and custom shader patch. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I've really enjoyed making it for you and if you do check the channel out and you like what you see, I'd love to have you on board so click on that subscribe button. See you soon guys!